Users primarily choose what video to watch based on the thumbnail itself. Therefore, it's crucial to have a good thumbnail in order for people to watch your videos. So in this video, I'm going to show how I create a thumbnail for my videos. Alright, so first, let's head over to YouTube and see what competition we have. So these are the top videos for how to create a thumbnail. So let's examine the similarities and differences between these. I do this so that way my thumbnail will stand out. Most of these have very bold text and very colorful. Um, I don't know, it looks a little too clickbaity for me. Um, this one looks relatively boring, sorry James. But um, some of these just don't really make sense. Like I would rather something more simplistic. Okay, so we can copy some of these ideas. Now we know sort of what our competition is. Let's go over to the website where I make my thumbnails. And that is canva.com. So here we are, we can create a new design. And let's go down to the YouTube thumbnail right here, this template. So here they give you different templates you can use. However, you kind of want to make sure you change a lot of these as people may recognize this. So I usually try to edit a lot of this stuff. Okay, so I grabbed a few stills from a video. First, I'm going to see which one I like better. That has a little bit more expression. Well, this one's more like, hey, click this video. So I'm definitely going to use this one. After we lay down the image, we'll add some icons and some text. And we can mess around with the, we can make it all caps or just simply that. I think this looks a little better. It's easier to read. So I made a few adjustments to the text and to this icon right here. But one thing I want to touch on is adding contrast and saturation. Because when you are looking at a thumbnail, it's very small. So you want to add more contrast and saturation to really make it pop. And at first it may seem like, oh wow, there's way too much. But once it's smaller, it actually doesn't look so bad. So if this is roughly the size of a YouTube thumbnail that would show up, it actually doesn't look too bad. And I kind of like how this all looks. It's simplistic. I may need to make a few adjustments just here and there, but overall it's pretty good. So once you're happy with your new thumbnail, just click download and let this download straight to your desktop, which we will upload to our video on YouTube. If you learned something new from this video, please leave a like. I upload once a week, so stay tuned to next Wednesday for my next upload. See you later.